that was great. I didn't know so much about mittens. Um, okay, so our next person up is James Fowler. James's talk title will be 10 by 10. James Fowler is a Toronto-based artist whose work can most easily be described as non-traditional landscape painting that borrows from cartography and geometric abstraction. James is a social media director at Akimbo Art Promotions and a member of the White House Studio Project, a 26-person arts incubator in Kensington Market. He is also the curator of the 10 by 10 Photography Project, which celebrates LGBTQ Canadians in the arts. James has a ladybug tattoo on his foot, often wears striped socks, and prefers kids' shows over reality television. Please welcome James. <laughs> performance artist, which is photographed by Tanya Anderson. So again, my name is James Fowler, and I started the uh, 10 by 10 photography project in 2011. Uh, it's an annual photography exhibition featuring 10, uh, 10 queer Canadian photographers and 100 portraits of LGBTQ people who contribute to the arts in Canada. This is Scott McEwen. Uh, he's an artist, semi-pro wrestler, and educator, also photographed by Tanya Anderson. Uh, the purpose of the project is threefold. First, to showcase photographers to shine a light on Canadian LGBTQ talent and those who have worked behind the scenes uh, to make things happen for anthropists and arts workers. This is Grant Keats. He's a fiber artist here in Toronto. He's photographed by Joey Bruni. Uh, the second reason I created the project um, was we needed to have more arts events during Pride Week in Toronto. Uh, Pride Toronto needed some visual arts programming. And the art galleries uh, in Toronto didn't have much by way of queer programming. That's Steve Carter. He's a drummer, also photographed by Joey Bruni. The third reason was uh, to produce a book of portraits, and we donate the proceeds of the book to the People Project, which is an arts initiative for queer and trans youth here in Toronto. That's uh, that's Young Chen. Uh, he's a graphic designer, photographed by Paul Gwen. Um, at the People Project, the youth learn grand writing skills. And 10 by 10 provides uh, grant funding, uh, which I think is a really great message to send to uh, young LGBTQ people. This is uh, Allison Scott, photographed by Paul Gwen. Allison actually joins 10 by 10 this year. Um, the year the project was supposed to be a one-year project, but it's actually turned into a 10-year project. This is Will Monroe, artist, photographed by John Caffrey. Will was actually the driving force behind the Queer West art scene in Toronto in the 2000s. He started at Vaseline. He passed away uh, a few years ago. And there's actually a retrospective of his work at the Art Gallery at York University. This is Andrew Harwood, a visual performance artist, also photographed by John Capri. He used to own Jaja on Queen West. He introduced me to Vasily and Lily Grove. This is Jason Bone. Uh, he is a Montreal artist, uh, photographed by Ink Kenny. Um, some people who are in the queer community would know his photography. It is marked by the model displayed actions of hyper-masculinity and a gritty visual aesthetic. That's Sean Crew, media maverick. He helped to promote the, uh, the exhibit last year. This year, 10x10, 10 10, we'll get the Gladstone Hotel. Uh, it will run um, from the 28th of June to the 15th of July, with a reception on the, uh, the 28th of June. This is Tommy Smith. Uh, you might recognize him as the designer and co-host of um, Sarah's House with Sarah Richardson. This was photographed by Patrick Lightheart. He looks like Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is Samantha uh, Blanchett. She's also a photographer. This is photographed by uh, Patrick Lightheart as well. All of the portraits uh, are for sale during the exhibit. And um, interestingly enough, the very last day of the exhibit, someone came in and couldn't decide which one to buy and bought all 10 of them, so I was quite pleased about that. This is A.A. Bronson. He is an artist, the only surviving member of General Idea. Um, it was photographed by David Pike. Um, I actually have this portrait in my home. Um, I asked David who his heroes were, and he mentioned A.A. Bronson, and uh, this was David's first group exhibit and book, and he's still a student. He also photographed Nina Arsenault, transdisciplinary artist. Um, Nina wrote and performed the Silicon Diaries, uh, which chronicles her 80 plus procedures um, she's gone through to become who she is today. Um, I also have that portrait. This is Brad Fraser, playwright and director, photographed by G. Elliot Simpson. Brad wrote The Unidentified Human Remains and the True Nature of Love. Currently, he's workshopping a new play at the Fighting the Beaver. Um, this is Stuart Hamilton, CBC radio host, also photographed by G. Elliot Simpson. 
Um, I actually didn't know who Stuart Hamilton was until I, uh, I did the show, so it's been a really great opportunity for me to actually meet a lot of people. Um, this is Evelyn Perry. This was photographed by Tanya Tiziana. Most of Tanya's photographs actually sold on the opening night. Tanya wanted to show artists out of their element. Um, I helped her with some of the locations, and it was a little hard because we need public pools and we need hang lights over the pools. It's a bit of a challenge. This is Lily Davis, uh, also photographed by Tanya. Um, we've added some programming to this year. On July 15th, there will be a brunch and Q&A with the photographers at the Gladstone Hotel, so I'm actually really excited by that. Um, my second to last slide is Renee Navarro. She's a photographer. She was photographed by Randy Turney, and she's actually joined this year in our group by Gunter Kravitz, Sue Lloyd, John Monteith, J.J. Levine, Sonia Sharp, Art Kelly Clipperton, Adam Pax, Alex Nersel, Alec and Allison Scott. This is our last slide. It is about uh, Richard Reiner, comedian, photographed by Randy Turnian. I'll leave you with a couple of quotes from the book. One is uh, John Lennon's, um, A dream you dream alone is just a dream. A dream you dream together is reality. And Rufus Wainwright's, Let your little fairy in the fly. Thank you. <laughs>